Welcome to my channel and thanks for listening. If you're first time tuning in, my name is Ron Johnson. What I do is I talk about my fish hobby, I talk about mental well-being, and I talk about that because I'm gonna be a future therapist pretty soon. So the reason why I'm shooting this video, if you haven't seen my kind of, I would say viral video that went viral. I just came down in the fish room, guess what I saw? My buddy on the ground, he's still alive. I'm actually giving him a net. I don't know how he got out of this tank all the way over there, but I'm gonna grab the net. I'm gonna put him inside. I think he's still alive. And let's see what happens, guys. Okay, so there he is inside the tanks. Let's see if I can get him back going, see if he still has some time to survive. Maybe, maybe. Still breathing. So hold on, let me go right work with him. As you probably see in the video, he jumped out the tank. I was able to have my iPhone catch it and be putting back inside the tank itself. Obviously, I didn't show the whole thing that would happen as far as when I put him in, how I was able to make him survive. He's actually doing much better. Thanks for asking or thanks for your comments out there. But the really shocking thing is, is that most people thought I didn't care about my fish. They thought I was just, I threw him on the ground and I actually put him back in the tank to shoot a video. People have really, really uh, some kind of negative comments. I'll show you right now what people were saying. Now, though, when you look at the comments, you think to yourself, well, you know what, it's okay, uh, this is what happened. But you know what, the reality of that is it impacted me. It impacted my well-being. I just actually stopped looking at YouTube for a couple of days. I actually stopped reading the comments. I actually turned the comments off because they were coming one thing after another. Now, what people don't understand is that when you have a 60-second clip, you're not seeing the whole picture. What you're seeing is that maybe I took the fish, the fish came out somehow, some way, I was able to get a net, get my iPhone, which are two easy things I have right behind me. Because what I was doing is I was feeding my fish and I saw it, my net was already in my hand. And at the same time, my camera was in my hand because I always bring my camera to the fish room so I can capture cool things, bring it to you guys out there through a short or through a YouTube video. So I always have my iPhone ready just because it's easy and the videos come out pretty good. So I shot a quick video, it'd be something cool to show how I actually took my fish, which I didn't know was on the ground, put it in a tank. So first thing I'm gonna tell you guys out there is I love my fish. I care about my fish, I name my fish. So for me, they're actually your pets. And, it, and because they're pets, they're also things I actually care about. So I care about their well-being, I care about their health. I'm always looking in my tanks, especially in the morning. I come in, I do my, I call it my morning routine. I check all my tanks, make sure everything's working well. Do my water changes, check their health, and try to educate myself the best way I can. So I do care about my fish. They are actually souls to me. They're creatures no different than a dog or, or an elephant or anything out there that has a soul. I believe they have souls and they actually are human beings just like we are. So human beings mean they have a soul, they think, they feel. That's what I mean by human beings. So when I got the bad reviews is that um, it impacted me. I, again, it just really was how people create assumptions without having all the facts. They create assumptions without knowing. They maybe actually are impacting someone's health. I mean, what if I was in a state of being suicidal and I saw these comments and I committed suicide? So we have to really worry about the comments we make or what we say because we never know how it impacts one's well-being. So one, it's assumptions. Assumptions are created because we think we know but we don't have all of the facts. That's one. Two is we think we're, we're, in, we're think we're helping by adding a comment, which in comments, they'll affect people, you know? I come from a space where if you have nothing good to say, don't say nothing at all. If you have something to contribute, don't say nothing at all. So, you know, think about what you're saying, how it impacts it. Because it impacted me, I'm a human being, just care about my hobby. But I must say also thank you for those out there that actually has some really great comments. I'm gonna actually show those right now, what they actually look like. So by looking at the comments, you can see some people actually cared and was actually say, hey, no one really looked at the video fully, and it really was like that. So let's all be careful about what we say and how it impact my health, impact me going to work, impact my kids, impact my wife, because I cared about my fish, and seeing all those negative comments definitely did not make me feel as excited. It, it didn't make me feel as happy. I was almost sad, in a way, for a couple hours, almost 24 hours because of what happened. So 
please be careful what you say out there because you never know what's happening. And more importantly, you never have all the facts. A 60 second clip about what happened is not all the facts. It's just assumptions and, and opinions about what we actually really don't know. So again, if you're listening, don't hit the hit subscribe button. I'm bringing to you more well-being, more fish enthusiast stuff. And guess what? I'm going to keep moving forward because that's how I do it. And that's like Rocky said in Rocky. You know what? One day you're going to get punched in the mouth. But the only thing to do is win is to keep moving forward because that's how winning is actually done. So thank you, Rocky or Stallone. So again, hit the subscribe button. You know, hit the bell. I like forward to seeing more videos or comment below if you have questions or are curious. I like to hear your comments and what you have to say. Again, thanks for listening.